Hi, I'm Heather Staines, the Director of Partnerships for Hypothesis. This is a quick video for the American Psychological Association on how to get started with annotation on top of APA content. Um, so right now, you'll notice on this article, what do undergraduates learn about human intelligence? Uh, the little icon at the right here says there aren't any annotations on this page. We're going to take care of that straight away. So to launch um, the hypothesis annotation tool, all you need to do is select some text, which I'm going to do here, and that's going to launch um, the controls for the annotations. So I have two options here. I can create a highlight, which is private just for me, or I can create an annotation. So let me select um, annotate. Now you can see the, um, the sidebar here opens on the right, and you can see the APA publishing open layer here at the top. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and create an annotation, but if you've never had a hypothesis account before, or it's the first time that you're um, actually logging in here, uh, instead of the little person icon at the right, you'll see a sign up or a login. Uh, you can sign up uh, to get your first ever hypothesis account, or you can log into an existing account. Uh, you can come right back and pick up here um, on top of the annotation card. So let me go ahead and make an annotation learn more about this. Now, in addition to text, um, you can add different formatting. You can add links, which I'll show you in a second. You can add images by uh, selecting uh, copy uh, image location. You can add mathematics and, um, and also even videos. Um, you can add tags to organize your research or give a cue uh, for others. So in this case, uh, this is an article about human intelligence. So let me go ahead and add that tag. Now I could still keep this annotation private just for me or maybe for the time being um, uh, if I wanted to come back and work on it a little bit more later before making it public. But let me go ahead and post it. So I'm going to post to the APA open layer. Now who can see this? Um, anyone who comes to APA will be able to see my annotation stuck to this piece of text. Now I can share this annotation out through different types of social media or by email. I can also grab the link here from the clipboard if I wanted to put this on a website or um, disseminate it some other way. And the person who gets the link doesn't have to have a hypothesis account or even know that it exists. They click on it and they'll be able to get to the content because this in this case is open access and they'll be able to come here and see the annotation um, right on top of the content. I mentioned videos before. Let me go ahead and make another annotation. And so uh, earlier I was on YouTube and I found a video about um, human intelligence. So let me go ahead and grab the share link for that here. And I'm going to come back um, to my annotation card and I'm just going to drop in the link. And it will load up right here in the card and you'll be able to play it from here if you like. How smart are you? Mental athletes, begin. That's a great way to dress up content um, with additional information. Now, I mentioned before that you can link um, content together. So let me go ahead and make yet another annotation here. And in the annotation card, I'm going to say, Also check out this article and I'm going to go to an article that I found earlier um, that happens to be an Encyclopedia Britannica article. Now, if you, um, once you've made your hypothesis account, you'll be able to use it anywhere on the web. You won't need to have any kind of a plugin or extension on top of APA because they've gone ahead and embedded the tool. But if you want to use it elsewhere, you want to go ahead and get the Chrome plugin. Uh, it's right here, just like this, and I can click it to um, turn it off or click it to turn it back on. If you if you're look fast, you can see the tools when they load up here um, on the side of the page. So uh, in this particular, if I wanted to just add a link to my annotation card, I could grab the URL. But what I want to do is actually add a link to a particular part um, of the article. So just like on the APA site, I'm going to select my text. I'm going to hit annotate. Now you'll notice a difference here. Um, the annotation is going to go in the hypothesis public channel because um, this particular uh, website, Encyclopedia Britannica, doesn't have a sponsored layer, but that's okay. So I can say, you know, let's say again, you know, this is relevant and I'm going to go ahead and post it. And I'm going to grab the link, each uh, annotation has a persistent unique web address. So just like I showed you, you could um, grab the link before. I'm gonna grab this link. I'm gonna go back to my um, annotation I was making on the APA site. I'll just highlight the text that I want the link to be behind. Click link, uh, 
can just drop in the link for that annotation and I'm going to tag it. Let's see. Let's see. How about brain? And then I'm going to post it to my group. And so now I've got two pieces of content that are linked across the web. Um, anyone who clicks on this link will be taken uh, into that article and actually scroll down to the annotation that I made. Now, one of the great things um, which comes from APA enabling a group on top of their content is that we have access to the group activity page. So if I click on my group name, I'll see just beneath it, view group activity. And it's going to take me to a page that shows all of the annotations that have been made across the APA site. So here are the annotations that um, I was just making uh, in our test article about undergraduate textbooks. But you can see if we scroll down that there are other um, annotations that folks have made. Here's an article on facial expression and emotion. Now, if I wanted to take a look um, at this article uh, and see this annotation in context, this little arrow here will allow me to visit annotation in context. Um, I could also share it out if I wanted to. Uh, here's another one on emotional uh, regulation. So you can use this group activity page at any time to see activity across um, all of APA. And I was making those tags before, so you can see as users um, create the tags, um, they'll be able to uh, add them here. And if I wanna see just uh, tags that have been tagged with extended essay, uh, I could filter that and I would be able to see, it looks like someone here is uh, getting ready to write an essay. So um, that's a quick uh, overview of getting started um, with Hypothesis. We've got lots of additional resources. If you have any uh, trouble uh, setting up your account, um, you can contact us at support.hypothesis, support at hypothesis, which is a .is on the end. Um, and uh, just one thing to note, if you're posting your annotations, and especially if you've been using Hypothesis elsewhere on the web, when you come back to APA, you wanna just make sure that your APA publishing open group is here at the top. Uh, sometimes that public channel, uh, if you've been annotating in it elsewhere, will kind of follow you back here. But we do want um, annotations to be visible for everyone who comes uh, to the APA site. So all you need to do, again, is, is just select this little, um, little carrot next to the group and you'll be able to annotate and get that in your right group. Um, I hope this has been a useful video uh, today, and um, we look forward to seeing uh, the annotations that you make. Thank you so much, and have a great day.